Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is How Long Does It Take Radio Waves to Reach the Moon? A radio wave is just one type of electromagnetic radiation. In other words, it's a type of light. And what makes radio waves different than, say, colors or the visible portion of the electromagnetic spectrum is that it has very large wavelengths. So radio waves will have wavelengths on the order of a kilometer. And if we consider the Earth and the Moon orbiting the Earth, the approximate or average distance, d, between the Earth and the Moon is approximately 384,400 kilometers. Or in units of meters, if we wanted to use MKS SI units, this is equal to 3.84 times 10 to the 8 meters, where I'm using the shorthand scientific notation. And because radio waves are just one form of light, they travel at the speed of light in the vacuum. So if we approximate the space between the Earth and the Moon, this space as being a vacuum, meaning no particles, then the speed of light is equal approximately to 299 million seven hundred ninety two thousand four hundred fifty eight meters per second or just approximately three times ten to the eight meters per second therefore the time it takes for a radio wave to go from the surface of the earth to the surface of the moon would simply be calculated by taking the distance and dividing by the speed of light which in this case, that time will be approximately 1.284 seconds. Therefore, if we wanted to know the amount of time for a round trip, where we send a radio signal to the moon, it bounces back and comes back to Earth, we would simply multiply that time by two, in which we would get 2.57 seconds for the round trip time. So it would take less than two seconds for the radio wave to go from the Earth to the Moon, and less than three seconds for it to come back, from our point of view. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is How Long Does It Take for a Radio Wave to Go from the Earth to the Moon?